Hello everyone and welcome to an absolutely thrilling game from round 2 of this year's Reykjavik Open. Uh, it is uh, a true legend of the chess arena, Simon Williams. And uh, uh, pretty much uh, when I started, uh, even before I started my chess channel some 10 years ago, when I started watching uh, chess content on YouTube, when you only had like uh, Mato was doing chess on YouTube, uh, Jerry from Chess Network was doing, John Bartholomew was there. Uh, one of the uh, one of the people already creating content was Simon Williams. And he he's a natural born attacker he he loves attacking and his games are always incredibly interesting he uh, he he pushed his H pawn pretty much in every game, even before Alpha Zero made it cool. So he really understands how to attack, and this is a, a like a phenomenal attacking game. He's facing uh, Anastasia Rakmangulova, woman international master from Ukraine. Uh, she, uh, as I understand it, won the Ukrainian championship for for girls and women uh, twenty times over different age categories. So uh, not uh, not going to be easy for Simon, even though there there's a significant rating difference. Uh, that being said, let's check it out. I, I, I cannot wait for you to, guys to see this. So here Simon opens with d4. We have d5 by Anastasia. c4, we have c6. Uh, she goes for the Slav defense. c captures on d5. Simon goes for the exchange variation. c captures and knight to c3. We have knight to f6. And here uh, there are many moves you can play here. Pretty standard moves are knight to f3 and bishop to f4. Uh, but Simon played pawn to f3. And when I first saw this, I thought, okay, probably Simon is trying to to get a nice win with pawn to f3 to promote some sort of a chessable course he's creating it, uh, how to crush the slav with 5f3 uh, but okay uh, let, let's see the game we have e6 uh, we have pawn to e4 he grabs the full center pawn captures pawn captures and knight to c6 so uh, Anastasia just continuing development knight to f3 and bishop to b4 she now wants the castle to safety and Simon plays this very tricky bishop to d3 move and now as you'll see it's not that easy to castle because if she just castles uh, Simon throws in a nice e5 and after knight to d5 uh, already you can resign bishop captures on h7 and it's game over. King captures knight to g5 check. It's a standard bishop sacrifice on h7 and queen uh, will checkmate the black king. Or you give up the queen for, for the knight here. Uh, also uh, very resignable. So after bishop to d3, she played bishop to a5, which is strong. Uh, she wants to... Uh, shift the, the the bishop over to b6 or to c7. Plus, at some uh, uh, in some lines, you can even consider a move like knight to b4. Simon still goes for e5. We have knight to d5, and here there is a game where bishop to d2 was played last year. But here Simon plays castles kingside, and it is now as of move 10 that we have a completely new game. And okay, he also sacrifices a pawn here, so she grabs it. Knight captures on c3, b captures, and the bishop captures, attacking the rook on a1. He goes rook to b1, and now pawn to h6. Again, you can't really castle here. If you castle, bishop captures on h7 is just winning uh, again. So pawn to h6 was played. Now bishop captures on h7 will no longer be an option. But now Simon has this very nice bishop to a3 move. Now the uh, you might think, okay, why play h6 in such a position? But it's very hard to find the move here for black. Uh, the only way to try and play this is by playing bishop captures with check. Uh, white will of course move the king, not capture. You will play bishop captures on e5, then comes knight captures, knight captures, and now bishop to b5 check. And after bishop to d7, now queen e2 will attack the knight, and after the knight moves, you will again play bishop to a3, uh, preventing the black king from castling. So uh, the black king will have uh, problems uh, this game, uh, but this this is this was the best way to try and save the game for Anastasia. Instead, she played h6, and okay, bishop to a3. Now Simon completely stops uh, the the black king from escaping. Pawn to a5. She's now now she's even dreaming of of putting something on b4 just to, uh, just to, to, to castle the the black king to safety. But Simon goes for queen to a4. Now of course the, such moves are impossible if you play bishop b4. Just bishop captures and you will not be able to capture back. The rook on a8 would hang. So after queen to a4, we have bishop to d7. Now the knight can move. Uh, but now look at this. Rook captures on b7. Knight captures on d4, now opening up an attack on Simon's queen on a4, and uh, you could consider a lot of moves here. For example, queen to c4 is nice. It's it's very nice. Let's say rook to c8, queen to c6, uh, queen to a6, and you retain all the pressure. Uh, black really has nothing to do here. Uh, eventually, you will win this game. But Simon goes for the uh, absolutely uh, thrilling idea, and that is knight captures on d4. He sacrifices his queen on a4, and now you realize that the black king really really 
uh, uh, really has no squares and that white doesn't even need the queen to continue this attack. You have this bishop, you have this rook, you have this rook, you have this bishop, uh, the, the knight here on d4, also a viable attacker. So here bishop captures an a4 was played. You have to capture the queen, otherwise you have no move. So bishop captures an a4 was played. And now feel free to pause the video and win the game for Simon while I give you a couple of seconds. There's only one winning move here. So uh, do your best. So uh, for those of you who were able to do it, congratulations on spotting this uh, brilliancy. And for those of you who just want to enjoy the show, it is knight captures on e6. That's right. You have to sacrifice even more material uh, because that's how chess works. And here you, you could easily resign here. It, it wouldn't be, uh, uh, you know, shameful or anything. Uh, but she continued with queen to h4. Uh, I will just show you what happens if you play some other moves. Like if you capture the bishop on d3, rook to e7 is mate in one. So... Obviously, you cannot move the queen from the defense of the e7 square. But capturing the knight isn't much better. Just bishop to g6 is now checkmate. Look at this mighty bishop pair and the rook pair. This is uh, this is something I, I don't think uh, I've ever seen. The bishop pair and the rook pair, uh, you know, uh, being used to, to such perfection. Maybe maybe in Anderson's immortal game, uh, but uh, other than uh, in the evergreen game, sorry. But other than that, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, so here, after knight captures an e6. Queen to h4 was played. This kind of keeps the game alive. But now comes rook captures on f7. Rook, uh, rook uh, from uh, f1 uh, captures on f7. Uh, bishop to b4. Other moves don't really uh, help all that much. Uh, if, if you you could give one check with queen to e1. But then bishop to f1 can just block. In the game, bishop to b4 was played. Kind of trying to uh, stop this bishop from controlling e7. Now rook e7 is impossible because you just capture with the queen. Uh, but you could play it. You could still play it. Pretty much every move is winning here. Simon played rook to f8 with check, and he was in this position on move 20 that Anastasia Rakmangulova resigned the game, as there is nothing more to be done here. It's uh, just looking at this, it, it, it's absolutely beautiful what Simon has created here today. And uh, if he does create some sort of a chessable course or something with this f3 line, I, I really hope everyone buys it. Uh, because, I mean, you, you you could also create something like this at least once in your life. Uh, so the problem here is if you capture the rook, uh, it's not really great. If rook captures, you're just going to get mated in two. Bishop g6 check. Only move rook f7 and now bishop captures will be checkmate. Or if you don't capture with the rook, you could also capture with the bishop. But then bishop to g6 is mate in one. So there you have it. Uh, beautiful, beautiful uh, attacking game by Simon. And uh, it, it all, uh, you know... Uh, became possible uh, w with this f3 line. It doesn't even have a name. It's just a line in the in the exchange variation of the Slav. Uh, but after this game, I, I I would not mind it to be uh, you know uh, ca called the the Williams line or maybe even the the, the Simon. So you know if if you guys play this. Uh, I, I, you know, if if anyone doesn't mind, uh, I, I, if I ever see it, I will call it the Simon. You know, uh, it, it's that good. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's the game. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, try it. Maybe it works out for you as well. It's a, it's a pretty cool attacking line. It's not very easy for Black to castle, as you've seen, and White didn't really have to do all that all that much to to accomplish this. So you know, it's trickier trickier than it looks. Uh, I would like to thank Ned Riley, BB Chess, uh, London System, Kavi Halikmadi, and uh, Marcus Steele for a contribution to my channel. Thank you a lot. I really appreciate it. As usual, you can check two of my previous videos here. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you soon. Continuing to check up on your wonderful suggestions and whatever else happens in the chess world. Hope more games like this happen in the chess world. Uh, see you soon.